Now, Luis Suarez is in the news. Yes, Luis Suarez is in the news. Now, he is in the news not because he won some awards or because he did something spectacular. No, he is in the news because of some statements he's making about Ghana ahead of the World Cup clash again this Friday. And the pressure is getting worse. The pressure is getting worse. Now, let me take you back to the 2010 World Cup. One beautiful tournament at that time. And a beautiful performance from the Black Stars to reach the Qatar finals, and they played with Suarez Uruguay. And I can tell you that match was very critical. Yes, and that match Ghana was on the edge of winning, but Suarez didn't make it happen as he turned himself a goalkeeper and removed the ball from the pool. And that was some tough moment. Hey, hey, I, I was all right. Ow. Now, Suarez was given a red card, and the referee awarded Ghana with a penalty, which was another chance for Ghana to qualify to the next stage. But Asamojan missed the penalty as the ball was straight to the bar, and it was another sad moment for Africa and the world as a whole. Communication, lack of communication, lack of communication, lack of communication lack of communication communication so now fast forward so this became some kind of tension between ghana and uruguay and finally we get to meet again and the pressure is getting worse the pressure is getting worse. now fast forward luis suarez in an interview was asked people in ghana consider him the devil himself and look forward to retiring him and he said the first time i don't apologize about that I take the handball, but the Ghana player missed a penalty, not me. Maybe I apologize if I injure a player, but this situation, I take a red card, the ref say penalty, it is not my fault. And this is coming from Luis Suarez, and I say, Luis Suarez, fire burn you in a professional way. Nonsense, fire will burn them. And that is coming from Luis Suarez, and personally, I think he has a point because he put himself on the line to defend his country and it worked for them yes 100 percent it worked for them anyone could have probably done the same thing but obviously it didn't happen for ghana it was a bad moment <coughs> now back to business you know after all this whole issue i mean 12 years ago yes suarez is still on social media intimidating the ghana team ahead of the crucial match but suarez we may catch our m I we emphasize. So Suarez again, he said, we have one point and the final match against Ghana is do or die. We have no option than to win to make our fans happy. Yes. Again, he said, we are going to put our lives and soul in this last match. Ghana is a good team, but we know we know them. We have beaten them before. Only why you have beaten who before? And we know how to beat them again. You have not beaten anyone before. We are coming for you this time. Again, he said, we have watched their clips. And they have a porous defense we will utilize that to beat them that is suarez again ahead of this crucial match and then the pressure is getting worse the pressure is getting worse. now after all this issue you know social media is washed with so many messages people are saying we are coming for you this time is not like the other time we are coming for you guys better 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 this time now in an interview the Ghana coach Otuado was asked, what does this match mean to him? And this is what he said. The good thing is that uh, um, at the end, if it's a draw, it's also good for us, but we want to win this game. Um, I'm not too much thinking about revenge. Um, it's, for me, it's a normal game. Um, surely, um, I also was, was yeah, really, really sad 2010 when I watched uh, the scene. And uh, yeah, it was a big chance for Ghana to, to proceed to the next stage. Um, but it's yeah, 12 years ago, and um, now it's it's a different it's a different match, it's a different approach also. So I don't see it for me. It's not a revenge, and um, I'm not a person who's seeking for revenge. I'm a strong believer that um, yeah, if we don't seek for these revenges and all these things, um, sometimes we even get more blessings from from God and. Uh, and we try to do our best to win this match and uh, I think uh, we are confident enough um, to, to know that we can beat them. Wait, wait, let me share my opinion. Send this one to coach Otuado. Yes, if this match doesn't matter to you, it matters a lot to Ghanaians. 
Please, forward this message to Coach Otuado. Please, if this match doesn't matter to you, Coach, it matters a lot to Ghanaians. Yes, and we want a win. We want a, like, a margin win, a great win. We don't want draw. Please and please again, it doesn't matter if you don't see this one as a revenge. This is a revenge for Ghanaians. This is a revenge for Ghanaians. Win this match for Ghanaians, please. Yes, please, we need a win. If this doesn't look a revenge to you, it's a revenge for Ghanaians. Yes, this match is on our hearts, Coach Otuado. And these people, they are not coming to play. If they win, they go through. If you lose, you are coming back home. And it's not going to be, and the pressure is going to be worse. So please win this game. Great win, spectacular win. That is what we expect for you. We don't care if it's not a revenge for you. We don't care if you don't matter. Ghanaians matter. Ghanaians matter. Win this match, hands down, please. Coach, win this match, hands down. They have already discovered your weaknesses. Work on your weaknesses and deliver for us, coach. They say your defense is very porous. And that is something we have to talk about. Your defense is very porous. Work on that. That is your weakness. And do some good changes for us to win this match. So, guys, this is my message to Coach or to Ado. And this is the show, The World Today, where we talk about all the exclusive happenings in the world. And the name, as usual, is K-W-A-C-I-E, Kwesi Bismarck. And this is Bismarck Media. And, guys, don't forget to leave your comment in the comment section because you matter a lot. If you're not following us, follow us on all social media platforms for all the entertainment news. See you in the next one. Please subscribe, like, and share.